doing? <laughs> Folks and welcome to the start of another weekly vlog. It is Monday early afternoon. I spent all morning editing together last week's weekly vlog and a video for Andy's channel. Link to that is down below. And there's the videos rendering now on my laptop on the other side of the room. And I was at work this morning, so all I could really do was sit in the house editing on my laptop and sort of be around with Andy and look after him. It is the last day of the Christmas holidays today, so we are going to be back on a normal work routine starting from tomorrow. But for today. Today, it's about one o'clock now. I've got roughly two hours until our shopping order comes. I need to put all that away and start getting dinner ready to try and fit in two Football Manager videos. So I've come out here to get on with that. I've also got a couple of other big videos that I'm starting to work on this week. One of which you'll be able to see here on the channel in a couple of days' time. Two days' time, I think. Wednesday this week for you. There should be a What We Spend in a Week video coming out, which I am really interested to see how this turns out. Because as of right now, I have no idea how much we spend in a week. That's going to be a really interesting thing. And of course, I've still got the Weight Watchers video and a habit thing bubbling away in the background as well. The no social media thing. So... Lots of stuff going on. I need to get on with it. I'll check in with you when I'm done. It's 10 p.m. The sound you can hear from upstairs is Andy trying to avoid going to bed and Anna trying to get him to go to bed for school tomorrow. Pretty sure you've already seen a bedtime routine video by now, though. You're probably up there. It's 8.57 a.m. on Tuesday. Anna, why are we in the car? I don't know. But it's singing. We are outside the... Yime? Is that how you say it? Some place we haven't been to for a long time. I lost four pounds. Yeah, Anna's lost four pounds. Spoilers for the Weight Watchers video. Mind you, she's not part of the Weight Watchers video. <laughs> she's doing it. She was already doing it. And that's why I chose Weight Watchers first, because it was easier for our first month. Um, but yeah, we are outside the gym, where we are going back to the gym for the first time in 2020. Unbelievably, the car park is rather full, almost as if lots of people like to go to the gym at the start of January. It's because we had children. Who knew? Hmm? We had children for the past seven days. Yeah, we haven't been able to go up until now because they don't have a crash for 15 year old Andes. Do you imagine? It'd have to be a very specific <laughs> kind of crash. To be fair, he'd probably be all right just sat in the cafe on his switch. But I wouldn't want to leave him there unsupervised, no. just in case. Right, let's go and... Um, it sounds early. Well, we, we, our passes work at 9 o'clock. It's 8.58. That's a 90-second walk. I think we're all right. 90 seconds. It's there. Yeah, but I've got to get out of the car as well. I'm not, in my, I'm not in my usual space. I don't care for it. It's the 2020 space. Hmm. <laughs> You've got glitter on your face. Hmm. <laughs> Much later in the day, in fact, I've just dropped Anna off at work for the day. Um, I am charging ahead on my videos again. Three Football Manager videos recorded today. They're now sorted until like the middle of the next week. We're getting closer and closer to getting a week ahead, which means the garage can get done. Um, both Amy and Andy are due home from school imminently. First day back after Christmas for both of them. So I imagine we're going to have two very tired children who pretty much just want to have some dinner and go to bed. That's my prediction both asleep let's say both asleep by before nine o'clock which would be super unusual but i suspect that but they've both been keeping proper teenager schedules over the christmas holidays like staying up till 10 11 o'clock at night waking up at 9 10 o'clock in the morning i suspect they're going to be tired when they get home well they've both been home from school for a couple of hours, you can tell Amy's home because Dave is completely whipped up. He always gets very excited when Amy's here. He's been climbing over you for about an hour at least, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. If not longer. And now he's uh, he's seen I've got the camera, which he knows means he can get away with all sorts of nonsense with me. And I think he can probably taste the dinner that I've probably spilt down my shirt as well. Dave, pack it in. You just want to be on camera. You weren't on last week's vlog much, were you? You just want to be on. The reason I turned the camera on, though, I speculated before you two got home that you'd both be very tired I having gone back to school today. You don't look as tired I as I was expecting. Yeah, I went back yesterday. Okay, that would explain why you're not as Horrible, tired. Horrible, though. <laughs> he went back today. How come you went back today but she went yesterday? Um, you went, he went yesterday. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me try that again. How come you went back yesterday but he went back today? I don't know. I'm hoping it means that... But everyone else at Mum's house went back today as well, did you say? 
Phoebe went back with me yesterday because we're at the same school, but everybody else went back today. Oh, that's odd. It's just you secondary school. But I mind you, he's secondary school. Ridiculous. Weird. I, I'm assuming, Mum said that apparently my school usually ends on a Thursday. Yeah. Like the last day is usually Thursdays instead of Fridays. Well, hope, yeah, I think you do get before. In fact, I think we looked at this because February half term, we're all planning to go to VidCom and we, it's the end of half term. So we're going to be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, which works for everyone but Amy because her extra day on half term is Friday. the Friday before half term rather than the Monday after. So I'm having to send the... Uh, I'm having to send Lucy, Amy and Owen back home from VidCon on the Sunday night and then me, Anna and Andy are going to drive back on Monday. So um, they're going to get the train or walk or something, I guess. I'd, not not that bothered how you get home as long as you get to school on Monday morning. Thanks. But So you went back yesterday and were yeah. tired, presumably. I went to sleep at like... I went to bed at like nine. <laughs> and that's not normal. That was my prediction. I said in bed by nine. It doesn't count now that you've been back two days. <laughs> He doesn't seem very tired at all. However, his both his teacher and his normal TA are off school, so the email we get home from school normally didn't really have any information in today, so I don't know what he's got up to at school today. But he did say, well, two things. He's got home. Thing number one, he's wiped off his board completely, which had his next couple of weeks schedule on, so he's just cleared that all off when he got home. But also, he was talking about going to school tomorrow and having a sleep. I wonder if he's been sleeping at school today. Have you sleep? Have you been sleeping at school today? Yeah. <laughs> We're just sleeping at night. You can't be sleeping at school. You sleep at home. Yeah, school. Hmm. So I think he's been there sleeping for most of the day, which is why he doesn't seem tired either. Oh, Not I ideal. Oh, didn't oh. you have maths? I've got a new maths teacher as well. Oh, so you can't sleep yet. You have yeah. to work out how long they spend and, facing away from the students. My old maths teacher did send mum the email eventually, basically saying that she thinks I would benefit from a maths tutor. If anyone wants to tutor Amy at maths, let me know. I mean, I've got maths A-level. I'm probably the perfect tutor for you. No, because you make me cry. I can't handle you teaching me. I'm a qualified teacher. Yeah, but you're not mean. Oh yeah, I'm a mean teacher, but I'm, uh, I'm effective. I don't want you to teach me. <laughs> <laughs> I've set this up early now, so none of them asked me to teach them to drive. Andy has gone to bed. It's about eight o'clock. By now, hopefully, you've seen this video, the bullet journaling video that I put out a couple of days ago. If you have, then you might be interested to know that completely separate from me starting a bullet journal about six weeks ago, we didn't talk about it. There was no plan to do it. This one here's got one as well. I have. Okay, yeah, just don't, you don't need to show it in it. Just prove to the world you have one. Amy has her own bullet journal. And not only that, she was telling me Lucy's got one on the way as well. Yeah, no, she's already got it. Oh, she's already got it, has she? So, both of these two have also started bullet journaling at the same time as me without any planning or discussion. So, um, if you want to see her bullet journal, now you've seen mine, let me know down in the comments and we'll perhaps do the, a bullet journal update next month where we can have a look at Amy's or Lucy's or both. We're probably going to play some Minecraft now, so I'll see you tomorrow. It is Wednesday lunchtime, and after another morning spent at the gym, that's two days in a row now. An hour. Aren't we? Yeah, we were there for a full hour, did weights and everything. We're like proper fit people. <laughs> uh, but it is lunchtime now. We've just had an early lunch because we're off to Andy's school, not for any panic inducing reason, which is good, uh, but because we live in such an, I don't know if this is the way it's done everywhere in the country, but certainly in Lincolnshire, because it's such an enormous county. Rather, the, uh, the, the paediatricians come out and tour the schools, certainly the special schools, and do annual paediatrician checkups in school. So we didn't know about this appointment until earlier in the week. But there oh, was no, a someone cancelled. Yeah, they had a cancellation. Um, from somebody else, so Andy's got moved up the list, so has his annual paediatrician checkup today. Now, the way they normally do it is she'll see him separately to us, so it doesn't disrupt him and make him think he's coming home. So she'll just, she'll just spend a little bit of time with Andy, uh, probably weigh him, uh, maybe have a little bit of a chat with him, and then we have a meeting with her afterwards so we can discuss 
our thoughts and how we think the last year or so has been going. So I'm thinking it's just going to be a relatively quick, easy, positive meeting. The last time we did this a year ago, we were we were still panicking about the possibility of him getting ill during winter like he had done the last couple of years and how we'd deal with that and it was actually this paediatrician last year who said that if anyone if anyone tried to panic the way they did the year before she would step in and tell them to calm down and it's just <laughs> the way he is so she was awesome last year and i think she'll be very pleasantly surprised when she sticks him on some scales and realizes he's put on probably close to 50 pounds since since she last saw him so i think it's just going to be a well done pat on the back all round and uh, then head home but obviously we'll let you know on the way home we're back from the meeting at Andy's school, um, or doctor's appointment, I guess. Not a meeting. They're just usually meetings when we're there. Went very well. She was very happy. He's put on loads away. He's he's come on leaps and bounds since she last saw him a year ago. She reminded us it was only a year ago that we were talking about the potential, or she was telling us how we didn't need to worry about the idea of somebody putting him on a feeding tube, but it was something we were worried about because it had been mentioned by other professionals and... Uh, we're so far away from that now. It just It's another one of those things that really hammers home the awesome progress he's made. She also said, or reminded us of something I guess we knew in the back of our minds, but had kind of not really been thinking about. But the next chapter is starting now because she reminded us he turns 16 in July, which means his DLA that he gets at the moment will be stopping. We need to apply for PIP for him, which we've never done a PIP application before. Apparently, they're not a lot of fun, she's just told us. And we need to get started on that fairly soon. Um, and also as part of that, she was starting to talk to us about post-18, post-19 plans. It's something we've talked about briefly with the social worker before. But again, yet another professional recommending that once you've got the PIP application in and he's in that school until he's 19, but beyond that, we really should be trying to push for some kind of independent living for him. So... Uh, there's that to start thinking about too. We're seeing a social worker in a couple of days, so I'm sure more of that will come up then. But it all, it, it, you think you're making progress in one area and then it never stops. There's always something to be doing. I am out and about once again, as you can see this time with an Amy, uh, because we're out and about for her. Uh, for the second time in like six weeks, we're having to go to the school uniform shop. Is it, was it about six weeks ago last day? It feels not, not long ago. I did it kind of towards the beginning of term, at the end of last, maybe the end of last year. Yeah, that, so that was school jumpers today. No. Is, wasn't it? I thought you got a school jumper oh, last time. Oh, no, it was. Oh, hang on. I forgot I went and got a school jumper, so it was actually, it was probably <laughs> towards the beginning. What, so you've been again without me at some point recently as well? At the end of last year. Why don't so you just get it all in the year? summer like everyone else does? Exactly. I don't know. Today we're off for a PE hoodie, yeah. which I didn't even know that was a thing. They certainly didn't have hoodies for PE back in my day. Hoodies were a banned thing in schools. Does your, do, do you know anyone who goes to school with a hoodie? Um, you do, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to go and get her a hoodie and then take her back to our mum's and we'll see her again yes. in a couple of days because what have you got coming up for us on I Friday? A baby series pretty much. <laughs> yeah Amy finally we mentioned it a little while ago that for your health and social care course yes. um, she's got a baby that she's not a real baby. A yeah that she's got to bring home and look after for the weekend but it's a baby with a push chair and a car seat and it's a whole thing. Yeah, Close. so we're going to get to meet the baby on Friday. Does the baby get a name? Uh, it's Liam. I'm having Liam. Liam? Yes. Boy or a girl? It's a boy, Dad. Okay. Um, Let's just check in. Okay, all right. <laughs> and I've even, I don't think I've told you this yet, but I was talking to my friend and we're both willing, if I take a camera from you, I could do a little bit of filming over the weekend. I'm with, sure we can set you up with a camera for the weekend. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thursday morning. Which just also happens to be MOT day. Just dropped my car in to one of the uh, to one of the MOT testing places in our lovely little industrial area that we've got on the edge of the town, which should be fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with the car. But 
because I'm in the industrial area on the edge of town. I now have a super long walk back home and then a super long walk back out here again later to pick it up again. Just as well on a day when I can't go to the gym because I don't have a car. Two questions. Question one, what has he done to this chair? I don't know, he sat there. And question two, what have you got here? I have tea. Why have you got so much mm -hmm. tea? Because I asked, I was supposed to get these sizes to check them, but then someone who will be behind the camera says, Kevin will have a try of that. <laughs> so I don't think that's my voice. I can't get it to focus. Um, let's try that way. There we go. So it's tea pigs. Yeah, so I was gonna get So you were getting samples. Dave, must you? <laughs> but you decided to get big ones instead. Because you wanted to try. <laughs> so what we've got chocolate flake. This is all a weight loss well not it's not weight loss tea, but it's to give you treats without loads of calories and stuff, isn't it? And uh, so chocolate flake tea, um, chocolate and mint tea, apple and cinnamon tea, which sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, what is this one? This is super fruit, the yeah. lychee that and rose. Sweet. I don't mind lychee, but I don't like rose. No. Um, what is this? Peach lemonade. So that's not tea. That's. I don't know. Oh no, 15 biodegradable tea temples. Naturally caffeine free. What is the purpose of summer, it then? The summer edition. So these were last year and they were on offer. So I thought, alright. Oh, Since know. when did you like weird teas? I don't, but when I was sick, uh, not like this time last year, I was having uh, fruit tea at, at uni and it helped and it was lovely. So and I really, really want some chocolate. Yeah, they actually call them tea temples on the box. <laughs> Dare I ask how much all this tea cost? All this? Yeah. 18. So that's 18 quid for, what, 63 tea bags. How much PG chips tips could you get for 18 quid? About 400 tea bags. <laughs> but, even look at them. I do like, like, I do want a mint chocolate. That sounds like, nice. Of them ones. Let's open them. Because, obviously, they're resealable. But they're biodegradable. They're all compostable. Because we are big composters. We are big composters. But it's... it's Dave, they're not for you. Oh, my gosh. I know Dave loves tea, by the way. If we leave a cup of tea lying around anywhere, Dude, he will drink it. Smell. It smells really minty. I'm not getting any chocolate out of that. It's just really minty. Oh, yeah, I am. Definitely like an ice cream. But... So has it actually got chocolate in? Or is it just somehow they've done a chocolate flavour? Oh, it's got cocoa husk and peppermint. Oh, yeah, there's the ingredients, if I can find a way to focus on them. But they look like nylon, but apparently they're biodegradable tea bags. There you go. So there's the ingredients list. So, yeah, they do actually have cocoa in there. Put your nose on that now. So that's a tea temple. Oh, it smells like <laughs> menthol. Well, do you want me to open all we got here? Let's do the apple and something, because they're obviously they're resealable. I'll, um, I'll put a link down in the description to where she got them from. It's not an affiliate thing, unless I've managed to find an affiliate thing between now and putting the video out. Um, Anna just bought them. Um, they weren't sent to us or anything, but um, Oh, they smell horrible. Which ones are they? They up on the cinnamon. Okay. I just wasn't expecting fruity tea. So, chocolate and peppermint tea. Which just smells like peppermint. And just tastes like peppermint. It's not bad. It's a bit overpriced though. Mm -hmm. Car is done. It took me 28 minutes to get home this morning. So now, Little game of Kev versus Kev. Can I get back in less than 28 minutes? It is Friday. Every part of me aches from the gym. We've been there again today. Something very exciting to show you though before I head into the house for stuff that probably interests everyone other than me a little bit more than this. But this is cool. So this is my weekly video planner. As you can see, this one, everything already created, but it's Friday afternoon now. And as of right now, I've also already made most of the videos for next week. Just one, two, three more to make. This is the week where I'm planning to sort out and finally finish off out here in the garage and just completely not be able to make video for days because I'm going to disassemble everything. So by this time next week, I need to be completed all the way up to there. And I'm nearly there already. 
which is awesome. Hello, folks. Editing Kev here. Just interrupting quickly. Um, at this point of this weekly vlog, we spent seven or eight minutes with Amy with her baby that she brought home from school for the weekend. It didn't really fit into the rest of the video. So what I've decided to do is take that footage, combine it with some footage that Amy filmed herself over the weekend of her looking after the baby and put all that together into a separate video that's actually going to come out tomorrow. So that's why there appears to be a big Friday shaped gap in the middle of this weekly vlog. Come back tomorrow. I know that means we're going to have three videos in a row. Don't get excited. We're not going to be back to daily, but it just makes more sense to me to do it that way. That way we have this weekly vlog as a weekly vlog and that video as a standalone thing on that one topic. So uh, yeah, back to, I think, I think we go into Saturday morning now. It is Saturday morning. I've just actually had to nip out to the pharmacy to pick up my, uh, my monthly prescription, but uh, I realized I didn't actually tell you what went on with the social worker last night. But she was there a long time, not for anything bad, because we had lots of questions for her off the back of the paediatrician meeting earlier in the week, because she raised the issue of Andy turning 16 in the summer and Pip, and also potentially needing power of attorney for just us being involved in decisions after his 16th birthday. So we were bombarding the social worker with questions and her answer was pretty much, I don't really know. Um, it's it's not really her area. We tried Googling it and we couldn't really find solid answers from there. So we, we think we know we are going to have to apply for Pip soon. His DLA that he gets at the moment is going to end when he's 16. So at some point in the next six months or so, we're going to have to do a PIP application. That's fine. And we, we knew that was coming anyway. But the more worrying thing until we can find an actual answer, and I'm hoping someone out there in YouTube land knows the answer and can let us know, is the situation with power of attorney. Because the paediatrician suggested that once he's 16, his doctors, if it was like if we were to take him to a GP appointment in a year's time, the GP could ask us to leave and discuss stuff with him. Or if he had a blood test, they wouldn't be able to give us the results. They'd have to give him the results because he's over 16. And obviously none of that is ideal. But according to the social worker, in order for us to get power of attorney, the, the, the only really straightforward way to do it is if Andy has the capacity to say himself that he would like us to have power of attorney and manage his money and manage his medical care and things like that. And he's not in a position to do it. We could train him to say it, but that's very different from him having the capacity to, to understand what he's agreeing to. So it's not really clear what the path forward is from here. So we're uh, we're in a little bit of limbo. If anyone knows the answer, let us know. Like I say, we tried Googling it and didn't really find any definitive answers one way or the other. So she's going to ask around in the office. Um, she said it's something that normally the the adult care social workers deal with because it's not something that usually comes up while someone is under 18 so it could be that the paediatrician just had the the year the dates wrong and it's 18 and not 16 and it's something that will be handled normally as part of his transition from child into adult social care but uh yeah at the moment like i say limbo now i need to head home grab them lot because we're heading out for the day and now we are out and about in Grantham, where are we going, Andy? Going to see the bells ring. We're going to go and see the bells ring. At the local uh, people. I don't think we're going to see the ropes, but we can hear the bells from outside if they're working. I don't think they were working last time we were here. We haven't been to this church for a little while. I think the last time we came here, it was certainly less windy, and it was a day when Andy had to go to the dentist. But we just made a special trip here, just because it's been a while, and he likes this church. And as soon as we went to Nottingham last week, he decided this was next on his agenda. It's a good. It is. Amazing, isn't it? Still got a Christmas tree up in here. Or oh, they've already got a Christmas tree up in here. We don't know that they didn't take the last one down and put this one up yesterday. What were you just telling me about the toilet in the church? That, they, that toilet in there is twinned with one in Bangladesh. It has a toilet twin? It does. Did you see a picture of the one in yes. Bangladesh? That is amazing. It's in the toilet. <laughs> I wonder if there was anyone in Bangladesh using it at the same time as you were using the one in Grantham. We're now waiting for the bells. It is seven minutes to three. So there should be some bells at three o'clock, as long as they're working. We can, we can. So, I guess we're waiting for them.
three o'clock. Okay. Let's go back inside. Well, wait then. Bell's watched. We are now in Andy's favorite room in the whole place. Trying to get the little information computer on. It looks like it's booting up. So fingers crossed, he gets to have his virtual tour of the church we're in. Oh, what is this? Chick library. This will be him for a little while now. Can you read it, Mommy? You finished the film. You finished the computer. That's it. You do like Happy now, computer? Happy? I'm not happy. You're always happy. Quick refueling in Subway complete. That was delicious. Even on a diet, Subway delicious and works. And now for the rest of the trip, Andy wants Asda, where he's decided we're getting him some new pajamas. He wants to ride up and down in the lift there, and then I think we're done. And there we have Andy using his new iPhone, which looks remarkably similar to your old iPhone. He has the same. Andy, put your phone up. He has the same back. <laughs> and it is Sunday, and as usual, I find myself sat in Tesco's car park, about to go in, grab the last couple of bits of food we need for the week, and then I'm going to head home and edit you. We've got quite a busy week coming up ahead of us, um, including I'm busy most of tomorrow, so rather than vlogging us sitting in a living room all afternoon not really doing anything and then rushing around like a madman tomorrow i thought i'd just edit the vlog early you're not missing anything you're literally going to miss me editing the thing you're watching now so i think that's probably okay there are a couple of very fun videos coming up this week as well come back in a couple of days because in a couple of days time you've got our what we spent in a week video that i've been working on all week along with this vlog that has confused my brain having to work on two videos at the same time but i think it's uh, it's shaping up to be quite an interesting video so that one will be out on wednesday and then towards the end of the week um, there's going to be my 12 habits for 2020 videos so similar kind of thing to the 12 diets for 2020 video that I put out a couple of weeks ago. 12 Habits for 2020 is going to be looking at the other monthly challenges I'm going to be doing. You've already seen the first one on the channel, the bullet journal one, which you can see, is it that side? I think it's that side. Um, I'm working on the no social media one at the moment, which is why I'm not replying to anyone on social media at the moment because I'm not on social media for January and I'm going to let you know what other stuff I've got planned for that throughout the year. And as with the diet one, there's going to be the opportunity to suggest habit challenges to me to do throughout the rest of the year so we will wrap things up there on this vlog we'll be back with another weekly vlog 5 p.m next monday but until then toodle pip folks